Hey, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. All right, let's get this thing, let's get this party started here. We want to keep this mark on the inside of this line, right on the outside of it, I mean. So I know that I have to go six turns. That's nice and loose. So it's not in the way. So this is one, two, three. I've got this pedal set up for really slow. I want to stay right on the outside edge of that line. I want to try to stay steady, but if I can't, it's going slow enough to where I can go back. I'm going to do one full go and then I will tighten it down probably one these first ones aren't as critical as you think you know because as you start to get harder then it starts to be it starts to eliminate all the other lines that aren't quite perfect. So I'm trying to stay nice and steady on these straight lines. That's where you'll really notice it, I think. This is gonna be a little bit difficult because I have to try to follow this round contour. Okay, I'm back to the start because I can see where this line is and I'm going to crank this down one full turn. Now this should be four turns in. That means I have to do this two more times to get the desired effect I believe. Okay, so that's four. You can see the edge there. It's got a nice little bevel. Now we're gonna do five. This I think is really gonna step it up. Now I believe this last one should be number six. Last one. Yeah, there we go. Now we loosen this up. There we go, check it out. I'm about to kind of flatten out some of the panel a little bit now. See the backside looks really nice too. Let's put it in the car. There you go. I hope this taught you how to turn your engine bay into a jewelry bay. 